My name is Matthew Shale. I am a research fellow in, at Stanford University in the Institute of Immunity, Transplantation and Infection. My um, involvement in celiac disease research primarily stems from uh, my training as a gastroenterologist, but also through undertaking a PhD in gut immunology. This, uh, these studies led me to really want to understand more about the very fundamental issue in the intestine, which is how the immune system knows when to react and when not to react. So my research, I would hope, would potentially have benefit to the celiac disease community because currently there's a, a big unmet need for, for treatments for celiac disease. Currently, complete dietary exclusion of gluten is the only approach. And this is partly because we know relatively little beyond the uh, effect of gluten in, in terms of how damage is then actually occurring in the intestine and the various cells and networks that uh, lead to this, um, this damage. The work that I'm currently um, pursuing, and which this award will allow me to pursue in more detail, is seeking to understand the role of a small subset of very specific cells called gamma delta T cells. We've known for some time that they accumulate in the intestine in active celiac disease, and indeed remain present even once patients go onto a gluten-free diet and seemingly get better. But we're not clear if these cells are doing damage during active disease or whether they're crucial to actually repairing some of the damage that's being done. And what I want to do is to study what these cells are reacting against and then uh, hopefully to be able to isolate them and study them in some more detail to understand how it is that they're controlling their own activity, but also how they're interacting with other cells which we know are present in the intestine in celiac disease. And my hope would be that this will allow us to come up with ways to target or regulate these networks of immune response in celiac disease, with the hope this may realistically translate into a therapeutic option in the future.